if I can come up with a cure or at least a regenerative treatment for your heart disease, for your diabetes, for your Alzheimer's, for your stroke, and help you for the first time with major problems in the spinal cord. If I can do all that, I also can eliminate, to a great extent, one's need for a lot of medications. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of lobbying power. It won't become legal quickly because when people start doing stem cells, they don't need to take their medication. A trillion dollars of profit oh, is going to evaporate in five years after stem cells are legal. Ours is an ever changing world, more connected than ever before. And in the fields of science and medicine, Innovation is key. But it's not just the discovery, the hard science, that counts. The innovators themselves, the laws and norms of their countries, and the manner in which their discoveries are put to use, how that potential is allocated, how and to whom it's available, are what make the difference. Stem cell research is the next frontier of medicine, though many have only the narrowest understanding of what it is, what it can do, and why it isn't explored to its fullest potential in the United States.